Welcome back to every chest YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful pencil skirt with side cow drapes. Okay, so in this class, I'll be taking us through how to flip this skirt and also attach this cow drape and the band. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this skirt now we need to have a pencil skirt before we attach our cow design on the side and to make this pencil skirt i'm using this crepe fabric that i have and it's stretchy so i'm not going to be adding a zipper to this i'm just going to cut it the same way I, my front the same way i'm cutting my back because there's not going to be a zipper allowance because it's very stretchy so i'm cutting both the front and back together and i folded it into four and the measurement I used in folding this is my largest measurement, which in this case is my hip measurement. So the hip I'm working with is 44 inches. 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. You can see that I already have, I have exactly 11 inches here. This is because this is a stretchy fabric and it's still going to expand. That's why I did not had any allowance. I just used that my exact measurement to fold it. Okay. So the next thing now from my upper part, this upper part here is my waistline so i'm going to be adding a band of two inches to one and a half inches to this so i'm going to go up there by one and a half before i start taking my measurement so now i'll take my hip line measurements and my hip line is eight and half okay and then this is my full skirt length measurement 25 inches so now on that hip line i'm going to make it into a straight line and then and remember this is not going to have any that also because it stretches so it's just going to cling to the body and i'm not going to have any issue with the feet so on the waistline i'm going to take my waist measurements and the waist i'm working with is 34 inches 34 divided by 4 is going to give me eight and half so here i'm going to measure eight and half and then on my hip, I'm going to measure the 11 inches that I am working with. And then on the hem, I'm going to subtract 2 inches because I want it to be pencil from my hip measurement. And that's going to leave me with 9 inches. So now the next thing is to connect from my waist to hip. I hope my chalk is visible. And then from the hip, I'm going to connect to the just going to turn this now and connect this to my hem so after connecting this i'm going to cut this out the fabric is stretching so it's shifting so i have my front and back cut out now so i'm going to open this top this is my skirt and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and just sew it on both sides so i have my pencil skirt now the next thing is to add my cow design to it I've gone ahead to sew my skirt together on the side as you can see and then when I turn it out I will have my skirt like this so now the next thing is for me to form the side cow and to do this the side cow is going to be running from the center front to the center back so I'm going to notch the center front and then I'll measure from my center front to my side okay so my side seam and here I have around 8 inches okay so the eight inches that i have because i'm going to be adding few pleats to it i'm just going to add extra five inches to it and i'm going to cut a fabric of five inches width okay of of eight plus five inches width so eight plus five is going to give me around 13 inches which is what i have here so i have 13 inches here as my width and the length of the fabric i don't want the cow to be too much depending on how full you want this to be so i'm just going to leave my length at around 30 inches okay because i'm going to be draping this on my 
mannequin directly so now you cut a fabric i'm cutting the fabric of 13 inches by 30 inches and you cut two of these for each side of the front so the first thing i'll do now is to sew this okay after you must have turned it on the on the rough edges of the side you aim it inwards like this so that it can be neatly finished you're going to place this and i'm going to place it using my pin so from my center front here i'm going to match this to my center front and then i'm going to pin it so when i get to around the dart area here i'm going to take a pleat so this is totally up to you and the design you're aiming to get and then i'm going to pleat it there you can see i am pleating it and then i'll take this to this side so you can add as many pleats as possible so you can just add one pleat there or you can just add two pleats like me so i'm having one pleat here and then i'm going to match this to my side seam because that's where it's going to stop okay this is the side of the skirt so the excess that i have here i'm just going to pleat it so what i have done here now i'll take the other side of my i'll take the other fabric now and pleat to the other side other center front alone so for the back we're going to be draping it directly on the mannequin so i have one side like this then i'll take it to the same machine and sew so now for the other side now just like i have done for this i'm going to take it from my center front and pin and then i'll also add two pleats like i did for the first side i'm going to pleat it i'm going to make my first pleat then i'll take the fabric to the side so that i can pleat the excess so this is my side seam i'm going to match it to the side like this and the excess that i have here i'm going to pleat it to form my second pleat so now i'll take this to the sewing machine now and then sew so after sewing it i'll take it to my mannequin to drape it to the back so you can see what i have on my center front so now i've gone ahead to sew this to my center front i can see this is the first one this is the second one and like i said the cow is going to run from the center front to the center back so now i'm going to turn this to the other side so now the next thing you need to do is to take your tape measure and measure where you want the first cow to drop so for me from my upper party i'm just going to stop it around nine inches which i've marked it with a chalk as you can see so now i'm going to take my other side here now and then use my hand to guide it to this point that i have here and i'll start to drip it so this is going to be the first drip so once you put the first one it's going to just form and show you what way you're going to go so now i've cleaned this now and then you can see that we have some force already so now the next thing is for you to just arrange it well and follow it just the same way we did here remember we have two pleats so for the next one that i'm going to do i'm taking my pleats like this and then i arrange it well now and then i'm going to pin it so after pinning the first pleats just like i did for the first one i'm going to go over to the back and then on my cb that's my center back i'll pin this one so whatever essence that i have so while pinning it you arrange it where you make sure that this has formed what you want it to form for you so this is me arranging this properly and after arranging it i'm going to pin this to my center back so after pinning to my center back you can see the excess that i have here so this excess here is what i'm going to pleat to form my full cow so i'm just pleating this now and then i'm going to hold it with a pin so now i'm going to cut off the excess that i have here so that i can sew this to my skirt to the upper part of my skirt so now you can see the cow that we have formed here and we've arranged this so after sewing this you can decide to close this by just sewing this and this together so that it can be closed or you just leave it open depending on what you want so you can see the cows that we have formed and you can see the shape that we have on the front area so what i have done here now i'm just going to repeat it for the other side also so this is just a pin and this is a 
requested tutorial and i want it to be as simple as possible so this is a freehand method of doing this you can also do this using you can also do this using slash and spread method if that is what you want so in another tutorial we may look into that so now i'm going to do for the other side also and then you can see what this looks like okay so i've gone ahead to drip this to the other side now i can see so when you're dripping it you use this as a model so you have to be following it the nine inches is what you're going to maintain here also and then when you're dropping your cow you make sure that they are on the same level with the first one you did so this is what the front is looking like so now the next thing you need to do now is to come here and then i'm going to cut off the excess so i'll just bring it up to my waist area and then the excess that I have here, I'm just going to slash it off, okay? So after slashing it off, this is what I have. So when you want to remove this from your pin, just hold it with your hand here and hold it with a pin. Hold it here, hold it with a pin, or you just tack it before you remove it from your dress form so that it's going to stay in place for you and then you're going to be able to sew this. So after sewing this now, you sew in your band on top of this so you sew in your band on top of it to finish up this rough edges and your skirt is finished so you can see how beautiful it is looking on the back side and also how lovely it is on the side and also on the front area so i'll go ahead and sew mine now fix my band and then my skirt is ready now the band has been fixed to this you can see that it is clean on the upper part also now and this is our cow like this so i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it send us to the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye